guys, today I'm here with another review and I'm going to be talking about All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Now just a warning, the words are going to be difficult with this one. I don't think this is going to be a very cohesive review. This is my second time trying to film this review. The first time it wasn't too much of a mess to really make a video out of, so I'm going to give it another go. So with that said, let's jump straight into the review. All the Bright Places is about two main characters. First we have Violet Markey and her sister has recently died in an accident and she's really really struggling with coming to terms with the whole thing. She's absolutely devastated about it. And then we have Theodore Finch and he's got a bit of a difficult home life. He is suffering from depression, he has suicidal thoughts, and the two of these characters meet on top of the school bell tower and Theodore Finch commonly known as Finch, is talking Violet out of jumping off the tower. So this story is about these two characters and how they grow both individually and together and the impact that each of them has on the other one's lives. It is just a beautiful and poignant book and oh, thinking about it now is kind of hard. This book deals with some very serious topics and I think these things are quite important to be talked about. There's a lot about mental health issues um, including depression and suicide, anxiety. I found that these things were portrayed really well and after finishing this book I found out that Jennifer Niven herself had experienced a lot of what happens in this book when she was younger and to be quite honest I wasn't too surprised to hear this because just the way that everything is dealt with, you can tell that it comes from a real place. It feels so genuine. So even though there is a lot of this serious subject matter, this book does have a lot of positivity behind it as well. It has plenty of lightheartedness and humour. I also loved the aspect of exploration because the two characters, they're paired up in a US geography class and the project that they have to do involves them going around to three different wonders of their state. So going to different places throughout the state that are interesting a bit strange, unique, and documenting that experience. And I loved this fact. It really kind of ignited something in me as well, wanting to go out and explore. It made me feel like I've just, I haven't seen enough of the world around me and in particular like in close proximity. It's made me feel like I really need to go out and find all of these quirky places that are near me but I have no idea exist. In addition to that I also read this book uh, right before the bookshop book so this combination really made me want to explore and find really interesting bookstores. This book was also written in dual points of view and I think this is executed wonderfully. I found that the two main characters had quite distinct voices and I was never really confused between the two and I also really liked having this written with dual perspectives because both of the characters have quite different journeys, particularly in terms of their character development. These two grow uh, as individuals but also together as their friendship flourishes but it was nice to see the kind of rate at which each of them was progressing with dealing with all of the things that were happening with their lives and getting a little more specific about the characters. First of all, Finch. I found that he was a really interesting character. He's definitely a quirky one and he does this thing where he adopts a persona. He becomes a slightly different version of himself, I guess. He Deep down he is the same Finch but he dresses differently and speaks slightly differently and acts differently. He does certain things that he might not have done when he was a different version of himself. And I thought that this made things quite interesting as well. I was just so captivated by his character and I just loved his wit and him. I did love him. While I did really like Violet's character, I wasn't quite as captivated as I was with Finch. I think just because Finch was such a unique character, I was really drawn in by him. But that doesn't in any way mean that I didn't like Violet. I really appreciated her growth as a person. Just trying to deal with everything and taking everything in and kind of changing her attitude about things, I think that was done really, really well. The thing that really made this book for me though, I think was how it just snuck up on me. I read about the first half of the book and I was enjoying it, I didn't have any problems with it, but I was just kind of along for the ride. But somewhere during this time, the book just grabbed my heart. It held it in its clutches and it waited and waited. And it wasn't until just after I realised that it did have my heart in its grasp that it crushed it. It crushed my heart. It honestly just kind of clicked one moment that this was 
an amazing book and I was just so enthralled by it. There were times when I physically couldn't continue reading. I had to stop. I couldn't continue any longer but it really was worth it. This book was just so so beautiful and I have recommended this to quite a few of my friends so far and the majority of them have actually already picked this book up. One in particular we still talk about it weeks after having read it and each time we get choked up. The fact that this has left such an impact on me and I keep thinking about it time and time again. That's one of the main reasons why I just love this book so much. Before I wrap this up though, there's one more thing that I wanted to include that I found out after finishing this book. So within the story, Violet creates this online magazine called Germ Magazine. It's kind of about love, life, literature, and more. But what was really cool that I discovered is that Jennifer Niven has actually brought this to life. There is a real Germ Magazine that you can actually go to and have a read through, check out all these articles. So I'll leave a link to that down below if you're interested. I thought this was just an extra really special touch that made me appreciate it just that little bit more. So that is my review of All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars. I also want to thank Penguin Australia for sending a copy of this book my way. Thank you so so much. I'm so happy to have had the opportunity to read this book. It was beautiful. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below if you have read this book, and if not, and you're thinking about picking it up, if you're interested at all, I have also included a link to where you can pick it up down below through my book depository affiliate. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye!